Have you have actually seen any copies of this magazine before? Uh, I suspect most of you haven't, which is one of the problems which I will be talking about. Um, and I will be talking about the, the, the big overall uh, subject of how Turkey's entry into the European Union is proceeding um, and how Europe is beginning to discover that actually it's going to need Turkey more than Turkey needs Europe, which is the big overall theme, but also little, little political things about all of this. Um, so, and, and please feel, I didn't write a, a text in, in advance for a deliberate reason because I wasn't quite sure who was there. I'm delighted you're all here, but if, if certain people from certain organizations were here, I would have very varied my talk. So let me then get straight to the origins of this whole business. Um, Europe's largest public relations company, which is called Bell Pottinger, um, has over the years, and I know them well, called me in when Turkish things arise. Um, anything from, for example, in 1996, Istanbul was a candidate for the Olympic Games, and they were sent to Atlanta to campaign for it, whatever. Um, in this instance, um, it's a, a slightly tricky political subject. Um, I don't know, uh, I'm sure you all know about the Airbus aircraft, the military side of the Airbus consortium, um, which is made up of Britain, Spain, Italy, and Germany, and they make the Eurofighter. Um, I was brought in about two years ago. Uh, Britain has been fired from leading the Eurofighter Consortium ever since uh, they were caught um, bribing Saudi sheikhs to buy Eurofighters. So the lead passed to the Italians, and the Italians uh, are in charge of the lead to try and sell Eurofighters to Turkey. Uh, lots of good reasons why Turkey might want to buy the Eurofighter in terms of um, showing its commitment to the Europe, Europe and so forth. I won't, I won't bore you with any of that at the moment. But um, <coughs> my initial public relations advice to them was Turkey, since it joined NATO in 1952, has always bought American and uh, it been in bed with Americans. So you must start doing something to endear yourself to Turkey what does Turkey want to do? It wants to join the European Union. Um, Turkey is not actually very good at that kind of thing, which I'll come to in a second. I'm going to read one or two bits of articles to you. Um, so let's start by doing something that will help Turkey's European Union efforts to endear the consortium and its efforts to Turkey. Um, everything else I'm going to say is very, very pro-Turkish, but I'm just going to read a bit about what I wrote, which um, in, in the one issue that I'm sorry that there aren't any copies of to distribute to you, um, about the Turkish lack of aptitude for public relations, which says, and this is the start of the project, those who know the Turks know that for outsiders to criticize them in any context is a dangerous business. So let me explain that I'm writing as an insider, as the great-great-grandson of, of the famous Turkish poet Mahmoud Kemal. Um, so I'm an insider, as it were. Uh, not only are the Turks not good at explaining their point of view, all too often they do not even understand the need to explain their case, which therefore goes by default. Biz bize benzeriz is the frequent defense literally we resemble ourselves and we are what we are, as if that were a conclusive argument. When the critical matter at hand is to explain why you are what you are. Um, and I'm trying to explain there that, that 
Turkey has never been good, wonderful, and though we Turks are in every other way, never very good at explaining that point of view and carrying on explaining it and carrying on and carrying on and carrying on putting it. You know, I gave the example there, which I will bore you with, how the Greeks, for example, have managed to make Turkish coffee Greek coffee because they keep on saying it's Greek coffee. <laughs> so it's, 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 but coffee, coffee came in, in the 1660s from Saudi Arabia, part of the Ottoman Empire, via Alexandria, part of the Ottoman Empire, to Istanbul, the capital of the Ottoman Empire, and then spread to Europe. So it was obviously Turkish. Greece was just a province of the Ottoman Empire. But because the Greeks have gone on and on and on and on and on said, saying it's Greek coffee, it's just a small example of how, um, sadly, the public relations effort in, in Turkey can, can, can fail. Um, and that is important for the European Union. Now, why is it important for the European Union? Well, as I say, while I've been working on this project, when I started working on this project, like uh, many Brits amongst you, um, I have to confess that I was not that, conf uh, that, that convinced myself about the wonders of the European Union. Uh, I have also now to convince that I'm much more pro-Brussels than I have been. Um, the Turkish position, I think, is, is rather like the British position in this sense, that um, other than Edward Heath, who I think really did know what um, the European Union was all about, I don't think many Brits really knew what the European Union was about. I think they thought about it was about sort of uh, having holidays in the Mediterranean, eating food with garlic or something, <laughs> that showed that you were civilized. And, uh, um, in the same way that uh, in Turkey, because Ataturk, before he died, uh, pointed his finger west and said, you know, that way of future lies. Um, but he died in, as, as we all know, on the five minutes past nine on the morning of the 10th of November, 1938, which is getting rather a long time ago now, um, and his favourite European leader at the time was Mussolini, uh, so all kinds of things have changed. Um, but that really was the start of the Turkish desire. We want to be European, we want to be part of Europe, without going into any details at all about what belonging to the European Union and what accepting directives and sorting out the 35 chapters, if they can be, uh, etc., what we're about. So that's part of it as well. However, um, one of the interesting things being involved in this process is how in countries in the European Union which are decidedly against Turkey, for example, especially France, uh, well, well, Sarkozy is when. Very ironic in Sarkozy's case because he has 0% French blood, uh, he is half Hungarian, Hungarians and the Turks are related racially, the other half he is Sephardic Jewish, the Ottoman Turks rescued his ancestors from Spain in 1492 when they were expelled, and yet he's so rapidly against. But in France, the simplest way now to, to show that you are against Sarkozy is to come out in favor of Turkey joining the EU. For example, Michel Rocard, uh, now approaching 80, but former Prime Minister, Socialist Prime Minister of France, we are a Turkey. Uh, wonderful book. I will read you just a little bit. Um, in my